Well, Christian, Arsenal, then to Bishop Stalford, then to the University of Birmingham. Difficult days or fond memories? A um, bit of both, yeah. Some fond memories in there. Um, some, some tough times as well, um, but mostly uh, a, lot of, a lot of fun. And um, yeah, here I am now. Arsenal would have given you a vision of what you might have been. Um, uh, what sort of era was it and, and did you mingle with stars or ever see stars at, at that time? I think it gave me um, sort of a, an appreciation of how the game should be played and like a foundation of, of how I think the game should be played. Um, we had some good players in the side, so uh, in my age group there was Jack Wilshere, um, Luke Aylin who's now at Leeds, Manuel Frimpong, who had a, a good good career, albeit cut a bit short in, in the Prem. So there were some good players. It was under the Arsene Wenger was the manager at the time, so that sort of philosophy filtered through. And um, yes, yeah, so sort of, I've always been uh, sort of fond of, of the way they've played football. So you keep an eye out for the results. Uh, you know, is it always somewhere you go to first? Yeah, I, I suppose Arsenal probably like my my second team in the Premier, if you like, um, behind West Ham. Uh, all my family are West Ham fans, and then my brother was like a rogue Arsenal fan. I think he just wanted to go against everyone. So um, yeah, I still obviously keep out uh, a lookout, but obviously all, all the Prem games. So. Sean Rowan Curtis, Ryan Williams, you um, all official Arsenal supporters club. How did your affinity come about? Yeah, mine's a bit random, really. Um, because uh, football wasn't really massive for my parents in our house, so my brother started playing football. He's a little bit older than me, and he, he started supporting Man United. And uh, I think I sort of just wanted to copy him, like you do as a younger brother. And he didn't want me to, so he chose me to support Arsenal. Like back, this is when I had no idea about teams or anything. So I was like, okay, uh, yeah, I guess I'm an Arsenal fan, and that's just stuck with me. Yeah, I was wondering the connection. You were born in Gillingham. Okay, there's no discernible sort of connection. Yeah, there, it's just, just really random, yeah. Okay, and what was the era? Who were the stars of your time? Um, it was, again, it's probably around the sort of time Burge was there. Um, I think when Thierry Henry had just gone there um, and leading up into that Invincibles team, which is probably the best memory I have from, from being yeah. an Arsenal fan. Right, I'm going to give you some blinding stats now. 26 matches together, 22 goals conceded, nine clean sheets. That's that's not a bad record, Christian. You played 41 games this season. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, you always try and look to con concede less than a goal a game, I guess. And um, if, if that can be a, a, the overall stat for the season, then we'll be in good stead. Because God forbid that I put you in jinx you now, but you do seem to keep quite injury free, don't you, from long term injury? Yeah, I've been lucky. I've been fairly lucky in my career. Um, you know, only had a couple of, of ankle problems um, over a good few years now, and they've not kept me out for too long. So, uh, fingers crossed, I can keep that record going. And Sean, you've made 33 starts, which must be quite pleasing given the start you had. Um, yeah, definitely. I think uh, it was a bit frustrating at the start for me, um, coming off the back of two bad injuries last season, not playing many games. Um, but now, obviously, like you said, I've, I've started a fair few games and hopefully I can keep that going to the end of the season. Because you've had to step into Matt Clark's shoes, which can't have been easy. Um, yeah, I didn't really think about it too much, really. Um, I don't think about players that, that come in and sort of uh, replace as such, but um, I just sort of focus on myself, focus on my own game. I've not really given that too much thought. Do you feel you both have now a, a genuine understanding, which you have to have in your positions? Yeah, I think so, um, especially defensively. Rag still tries to clatter me when we go up for corners. <laughs> But um, sometimes we get in each other's way <laughs> going for the ball. But no, I think so. Um, we sort of both feed off each other and, and know what each other prefers to do and um, each other's capabilities. So we, we try and help each other out in that aspect. Because you featured with a number of partnerships, haven't you? Over the years? Yeah, over the years, yeah. Played with quite a few centre halves now here. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good, fair list. And, and you have to adapt every time, surely? To, a new to, to an extent, yeah, obviously you just still play your game, but um, it's just about getting that understanding where you both know um, what you want to do with the ball, what you want to do without the ball, so um, you know, good communication always helps. Sean, it hasn't always been roses for you and you've been a brunt of the fans on social media, how do you cope with that? 
Um, yeah, I think social media is just one of them things, isn't it? I think if you take if you, if you're reading it and taking it too seriously, then uh, it's it's going to be a tough time for you. So I sort of, you know, I I don't look at it, look at it, um, look at what people are saying about me. If I get mentioned um, directly and it comes up on my feed, then you know I just sort of shrug it off. It doesn't really bother me too much. Uh, people can say what they want, and I've always backed myself, believed in myself, and you know that's what's kept me going. It shows how fickle it is at the moment. You're the rave of everybody. Yeah, again, like, I always say never too high, never too low. So again, if, if people are, are sort of going a bit over the top in that way as well, I don't look too much into that. Um, you know, social media, people can say, say anything they want. It doesn't mean any of it's any true, do you know what I mean? Because this water's off and ducks back to you, surely. Yeah, yeah. Um, just like Sean said, really, you know, anyone can, can be on there, you know, People hide behind all sorts of profile photos, and you've got kids on there now. And you know, people sometimes love to troll, don't they? So you can't take anything on there too seriously. Um, I think, yeah, sometimes don't even read your own press in terms of when, when you're getting praised because um, I just think keep a steady head mm. and, and just uh, sort of a flat line. Is it football that makes you thick skinned like that? Yeah, um, yeah, I think it definitely helps. I think it's sort of. Um, it will uh, affect you in that way, but um, obviously, you know, other, other things from life, some people might be affected a little bit more, but I think when you're in, in the public eye, or at least at a football club, especially as big as Portsmouth, then you soon learn to sort of take things with a pinch of salt. Sean, do you have to look at Arsenal as just another opponent now? Yeah, definitely. I think um, I always say you sort of got, got to go into every game believing you can get a result, otherwise there's no real point turning up. So, you know, we'll do our homework on Arsenal and, and treat it like we were playing any side sort of in League One. So, Do you have to do much homework on it, Christian? It, 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 you see them most weekends and you can analyse it too much, can't you? I mean, yeah, I think we know a lot of their players, know the way they like to play football. Um, it's just about working, working out when it gets onto the pitch. Um, but I think, like Sean said, I think magic of the FA Cup, anything can happen, and we'll definitely go in there trying to cause an upset. What do you say about all these games coming up? Do you say bring it on? Yeah, definitely. I think for me personally, I prefer it when you've got loads of games. Um, it helps being a centre half. You probably run a little bit less than some of the other boys. Therefore, maybe it takes a, a little bit less of a toll, but also. Um, you know, you've got constantly got games to look forward to, and you know points to win, and um, obviously in the FA Cup, you know uh, another round to try and get to. Sean, you go back at the end of the season. Do you know what life holds for you beyond that in football? Um, no, not at all really. I, I always sort of say I just leave that till the end of the season um, and and deal with it then. I'm just focusing on finishing this season strong and hopefully. You know, finishing successful here at Portsmouth. Would you be open to a return here next year? A anything that comes along, I'll always always consider. Um, any options I have, I've, I've a good look into it. But like I said, I haven't really given it much thought. Have you enjoyed your time here? Though, obviously, you look if, if you have. Yeah, I've enjoyed my time. I'm, I'm enjoying it now. So yeah, hopefully, you can keep that going to the end of the season. And Christian, new contract? Anything about it? Does yeah. it still does it await? <laughs> Sorry, does it await? Oh, um, very possibly. Um, I think it's sort of the same, same with Sean, I'm not really thinking at it, about it at the minute. You know, loads of games coming up, it's sort of just game after game, that's what I focus is on. But um, yeah, there, there'll come a point when, when things will have to be decided. Because you're part and parcel a bit now, aren't you? Everybody expects to see it. Yeah, it's been a while, yeah, and it's been a great time as well, so I've thoroughly enjoyed it. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Did you ever expect it to be this long and to play as many games? No, definitely not. Um, I've been fortunate with, with how many games I've been able to, to make here. Um, and, you know, it's been by far the best sort of chapter spell of my career. So, um, yeah, very lucky and, and really enjoyed it. Sean, above all else, is it important to put on a good show on Monday night? Um, I think the most important thing would be getting a result at the end of the day. And that's what we'll be aiming to do. Um, obviously, it's a nice occasion for the fans, you know, to, to come down and see us play against one of the big Premier League sides, but we'll be looking to, to get the result. Question, big scalp? Yeah, um, obviously same really. I think the result's important. 
Um, like I said, magic FA Cup anything can happen. And you know, we'll be going in there with, with a certain amount of confidence, thinking that we can do it and, and believing in ourselves to achieve that. And um, yeah, who knows?